Hello, in this video we are going to see how we can import a CSV file into Neo4j. Now this is a file uh, which we have taken from a Coursera course and uh, it is a file related to the terrorist information. Here we have got the name of the terrorists, the country to which they belong, what are the actor types, what are the affiliation, whom, to whom they are affiliated to, to which organization they are affiliated and what are the other names by which they are called. So here we can see that there are about three type of nodes. One is the country node, the second one is the actor node which has got information about the actor which consists of actor name, actor type and the aliases and there is a third type of organization which is affiliation to which is the organizations to which these terrorists are affiliated and then there is a relationship data which is affiliation started and affiliation ended which describes the relationship between the actors and affiliated organizations so exactly we can see import this kind of data where we have got different type of nodes and we need to define the relationships among these nodes so again we have to put our data into our import folder so go to uh, neo4j and see what exactly is the database location and within the database location so here the database location is c drive users user documents neo4j default.graphdb create a import folder within the default.graphdb and put your file here so here i have put the files terrorist data and all and terrorist data subset now once you have done that you go to this particular um, so I have taken a subset of this data because it contains millions of nodes so I have taken the subset of this data and I will copy this file and execute um, execute the command here so I open the neo4j in the browser it's 127.0.0 dot one colon 7474 it may be local post for for you so here we will put the uh, information here and uh, and this is the information that we will put it in the put it in the uh, neo4j sql box now load csv with headers five slash slash so replace it with terrorist data subset dot csv c drive slash terrorist data dot csv don't put the entire path if you want to put the entire path you have to make certain changes in the configuration we are not covering it now now this entire thing is loaded in a variable with the name row you can name this line row one row two row three anything you can put any variable name here now here we have got different type of nodes we have got country node actor node organization node relationship node and to from which country is this particular actor so so uh, here uh, the syntax is like this so this is the entire node and this is the node variable this is the type of the node that is node type is country now the name is the property of this node and since because the entire thing is loaded in the variable row so we will say row dot country and country is the country in that particular row so we by using merge it will merge all the records and upload it on node neo4j similarly here this is the entire node now this is the node variable and this is the node type the node type is actor the information we had ac about actor was actor name aliases and the actor type okay so if we go to excel these this was the information that was available actor name actor type and the aliases so uh, we will uh, we need to define the properties for this particular node so name name property is row dot actor name because row is a variable here so row dot actor name aliases row is a variable here row dot aliases type uh, type is a property name so row dot actor type similarly we have got a third type of node which is an organization node type organization and um, o is a uh, variable for the node o organization the name is the property and row is a variable it's, it will be the same as here and this is affiliation to so if you go to the database this is the this is the column affiliation to again 
uh, we have to map this affiliation start date and affiliation end date because uh, these are traders are, uh, are affiliated so here we have to define the relationship so the cons the, uh, so the syntax is from node source node target node and in between there is a relationship so we have to define properties for this relationship the type of re relationship is affiliated to underscore two and these are the properties start these are the values row dot affiliation started and end is another property and these are the values row dot affiliation ended and this actor is re affiliated to this organization from this date to this date now similarly actor belongs to a particular country so the direction is from a to c note here this this is not from c to a here actor is affiliated to an organization but here actor is affiliated to a country so node country node actor and the relationship so the relationship type is is from so that's how uh, we construct the query now we load this and we execute it in the um, we execute it here So here you see load CSV with headers from file whatever the node uh, uh, SQL that you have executed it comes here and here you can see that 658 labels are created 658 nodes are created 3464 properties are set and 143043 relationship created in 6743 milliseconds if you want to see the database in a visual format you can go here and see if you want to see the entire database you click start and here you will see all the graphs that are there now what it has done is it has appended a graph to the uh, other graph so uh, here you can see only a subset of the graph so but if you want to have a bigger elements you go to inspect element and you increase the scale factor so you increase the scale factor to 0.2 uh, scale so you say to two and so get scaled. So you can scale it. Zero point. So here by default it returns. Uh, only it limits to 20 25 but if you want to have a greater number of nodes uh, you want to have a greater number of nodes so you can say 600 and you execute this and here you get all the nodes here you get all the notes it's, it's, it's a little difficult to visualize there you can use Giphy to visualize the notes but it is very good for uh, doing the analysis um, so you can see all the actors that are there these are the actors that are there so it by default it limits to 25 actors you can see the countries but these are the countries uh, to which these people are affiliated so you can uh, see the relationships um, you can see from which country they are and uh, you can check by from which day to be which trade these actors are affiliated to which organizations thank you for your time